Buenos días, vecinos. Un nuevo mes en el hoyo. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Si no se respeta la ley, la gente muere. ¿Lo entiendes? Oh, no. 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 No, 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 I was a big fan of the first film, really big fan. I think I would give the first film a 9 out of 10. And I know that the first film is meant to be a sort of allegory about capitalism and how the rich get rich and the poor get poor. But in my opinion, as a YouTuber, I actually saw the first film as an allegory for YouTube. The big YouTubers always get all the views, the small YouTubers at the bottom get virtually nothing. And sometimes one month you can be the guy getting a lot of views and sometimes uh, you can be a big YouTuber but you're getting little views. YouTube operates like that. Sometimes even when you have a small channel you can get a lot of views. And sometimes when you're a big channel you can get few views. I've seen it all the time. So just like the way in the movie one month you're at the bottom, one month you're at the top, reminded me the same thing of YouTube. Even on YouTube, sometimes if you become a bit too ambitious and you decide to upload some illegal shorts or you try to upload some reused content or you steal someone's content, YouTube can penalize you, strike you or demonetize you. And I found that to be sort of like just the same way like in uh, the movie when you try to hoard food and keep it for yourself, you end up getting cooked or you end up getting frozen. So as a YouTuber, that first film, I really resonated with just the messaging that it had. Now here we are with a second film, which is a prequel. I'll be honest to, with you, I was disappointed that it was a prequel because prequels always have a curse, which is if you see a character there that you know, if I see a character that I know, if I see a character in a prequel and I already know that character, that means that character is not going to die because they are in the, they are in the, they are in the other movie. You know, you get what I'm trying to say. Platform 2 is a prequel. It means that any character that were in the first film are not going to die in this film because they have to survive to be in the, first, in the events of the first film. Anyway, it's fine. In this film, we get to see uh, a few months, I don't know how many months, but a few months before uh, the first film, there was a system in which the inmates of the of the pit, the vertical prison, the pit, there is a way that they had devised that they would be able to distribute food well. And there are three groups of people in this film. There's the loyalists, the barbarians, and the anointed ones. So the loyalists come from following the anointed ones. So the anointed ones are these guys who are like disciples. So there's also a lot of like religious allegory. Anointed ones are like these disciples of this one guy who uh, a long time ago, people don't even know whether he existed or he didn't, whether it was just an urban myth or not. But this dude apparently, he stayed without eating for a whole month and there was a time he even like cut up his own thighs so that he could feed people. So these anointed ones follow uh, this dude in trying to, they, they, they got to see this guy. And they are trying to ensure that they like follow in his footsteps and making sure that everyone gets food. However, the anointed ones, they, you know, have a following called the loyalists. And then there are these people called the barbarians. So the barbarians are the ones who are like anti-order. So loyalists are the ones who want order and they follow the anointed ones. And the barbarians are the ones who are like anti-order. The film is trying to build on the themes of the first film in that in this film we get to see uh, themes of discipline and themes of how control leads to chaos. In the first film it was mostly about social inequality but in this one it's more about discipline and how control leads to chaos. Uh, the characters that we got, I liked them. Uh, however, uh, the first two characters, as you know, in this film, you typically uh, are in a prison. Some people typically die, some new inmates come in. So my, my issue with this film is that there were new uh, 
characters who uh, kept coming in at some point they become such a big group uh, even the one that you were mainly focused on kind of gets lost into the crowd so i didn't like that i liked the in the first film you focused on just some key people here they become so many such a large group and there are some things i really liked about this film for example there are certain shots where you get to see a camera splat- uh, splatter you also get to see what happens when someone hoards food there's this one scene where someone hoards food and uh, you get to see what happens when they hoard food they don't want to give too many details i think it's worth seeing for yourself if you haven't seen the film for yourself uh, i was genuinely very disappointed that this was a prequel because prequels as i said they they are always cast once you know that something is a prequel you can't care about the character because you know they can't die the themes of this film i feel like they're trying to address and does change have to be so violent yeah because uh in this film there are times when you could see there the characters had become they wanted change but they had become like animals yeah and i think that's a theme of how human beings can turn into like savages in the name of trying to endorse and enact uh, change and number two is what happens when the system stops working so you create a system that is supposed to be order but then suddenly it very quickly becomes disorder once it pushes to certain extreme these guys the anointed ones yes their intent is that they want to enact order but because they are so strict it's easily leads into disorder. Uh the biggest gripe I have with this film in the end is that the last 20 minutes became this ah uh, confusing mess. Ah uh, I don't want to give any spoilers it's supposed to be a non spoiler review. The, the ending bro. What was that ending for like the last I did don't know 15 20 minutes of the film I was just floating. <laughs> I was so annoyed because everything up to that point made sense. and then just the last 20 minutes i was beginning to check out and i was like why this film was going so well before the ending came along some people might film feel like the film is unnecessary like the first film should have just been a one off uh i can understand your point because this one definitely didn't do much better than the first film the first film was a 9 out of 10 in my opinion i give this film a 6 out of 10 mainly because um i wasn't as invested in the characters the characters that i was invested in in the beginning with well they later you know they later get lost in the large crowd and um that ending the last 15 minutes no 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 no, no. i wish i wish it had not derailed it went off the rails so quick i was even planning to do like a sort of um the platform to ending explained but i myself realized that there was that, that ending had so many ambiguities as just like let me just review the movie in general so this movie gets a 6 out of 10 from me how much thought of this film uh the first one was definitely so much better uh on this screen i'll leave other reviews i've done how much thought of this film i really like to know and then i'll see the next one